nearly 13 weeks now. I'm totally isolated. I live on my own. I mean, mentally. I mean, can you imagine being in this place 12 weeks on your own when you're an out person? I mean, I need to be out. I've been sporty all my life. Jim's way of combating the loneliness was to embark on a back garden marathon to raise money for Southend Hospital, where during chemotherapy for prostate cancer, doctors also found a tumour which needed quick surgery. Jim couldn't believe the quality of their care, and so began a mile a day, 32 laps of his lawn. It's been an emotional journey for the 77-year-old. That nursing, that, the dedication of it all has been fantastic. They're giving up their possible lives to help me, and I'll come away with that. That really gets to me. So I need to do something. I need to get some money. You know, I can make my own contribution, but if we can get people to support it, it'd be fantastic. And so to the final day of this epic undertaking for a grandfather of four, the neighbours watching from a safe distance, of course. His wife, Carol, would have been so proud of this larger-than-life character. There are the golf balls that have been helping him keep count. Remember, this is a man still undergoing treatment for cancer, refusing to bow to the condition. He's come up with his own homemade finish line and he's become a legend here in his own back garden, 26.2 miles. What an effort from the septuagenarian, refusing to be locked down by his condition or the loneliness. Wearing number one, there is the homemade medal. What a man, what an achievement. I think it's one of the best things I've ever done in my life. Yeah, absolutely think it is, you know. I mean, I've looked forward to it, you know, and I wonder what we're going to do now.